There are few pathways to form acrylamide. One of them is the formation of acrylamide via the Maillard reaction. Basically Maillard reaction is a non-enzymatic reaction that give browning effect. When condensation reaction between amino group and reducing sugars happens, browning effect occurs. This provide the food color, aromatic scent and flavor to make the food more appealing. Acrylamide is often formed during high temperature cooking process such as frying, roasting and baking with temperature 120 degrees Celsius or above. It also formed especially in high starch content or plant-based food like potato. The high temperature makes the amino acid in food to form a new compound with the carbonyl group. Let me explain the formation of acrylamide through Maillard reaction to you step by step. Here's the procedures from asparagine which is an amino acid to acrylamide at a glance. Let's look at the first step. The R amino group of asparagine react with carbonyl group, lead to the formation of shift base. This is the first step of formation acrylamide. Then, with the heat treatment, the shift base decarboxylates with the facilitation of the delocalization of negative charges. The decarboxylated shift intermediates are formed. This is the second step. Lastly, the decarboxylated shift intermediate will be hydrolyzed with the presence of heat to form 3 aminopropioamide. The 3 aminopropioamide will then be further degraded via the elimination of ammonia to form acrylamide. Alternatively, decomposition of the decarboxylated shift intermediate can also occur to form acrylamide via the elimination of amine. That's all for the process of acrylamide formation. Once again, this is the overall process at a glance.